Independent artists have always been trying to use loopholes to get around paying copyright registration fees, or worse, not copywriting their music at all. So in this video, I'm gonna share a game-changing solution that's revolutionizing the process of copywriting music so that any independent artist can afford to copyright an unlimited amount of music. This means for one small monthly fee, you're gonna be able to copyright any and every single work or piece of work that you create as much or as little as you want for a flat fee. So there's no more need to pay exorbitant fees for every single song you register. No need to try loopholes like mailing your music to yourself or trying to batch multiple works and then submit them as a single work or any other loophole or workaround, which by the way, just about every workaround has failed to hold up in court at one point or another. So instead, I'm gonna share with you an actual legitimate alternative to registering your music directly with the US Copyright Office or the Copyright Office in your region. But first, I'm gonna give you a super quick crash course on the basics of how copyright law works for both artists domestically and internationally, the importance of registering your works, how things used to work, and why this new alternative is a game changer for the music industry, especially for independent artists. And the reason I wanna explain all this stuff is so that you can confidently use this new affordable method for quickly and easily establishing evidence of your copyright much, much faster than you could through government registration, and you can pay only a small flat rate of nine bucks a month for unlimited submissions instead of $35 or more for every single submission. So let's first talk about why you would want to register your copyright in the first place. Now, there are two main reasons for this. One is to protect your work from being stolen by someone else, and two, to protect yourself from being wrongfully sued for stealing someone else's work. You see, this works both ways. Even if you're a total creative type that, for whatever reason, doesn't care about money, and you don't care about people stealing your work, I'd imagine you at the very least don't wanna get hit with a lawsuit claiming that you're infringing on someone else's work, especially if there's no validity to that claim. So th those are the two fundamental reasons why you should always register your copyrights. And another one being that you should act as though you will be successful. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's say a music supervisor contacts you and tells you that they wanna pay you a million dollars to use one of your songs in an upcoming Marvel movie. Well, are you prepared? Do you have your paperwork in place? This would include copyright registration. If you don't have all this stuff ready to go, you could miss out on a once in a lifetime opportunity because let's face reality here, music supervisors have deadlines and if you can't meet those deadlines, there are millions and millions of other songs out there that they could use instead. So at the end of the day, it's really important that you register your copyrights. Now at this point, some of you might be thinking, okay, so what is a copyright anyway? A copyright is a type of intellectual property that gives its owner the exclusive right to copy, distribute, adapt, display, and perform a creative work. In your case, your creative work would be your music. So a copyright is simply a legal protection that says you created this and that means you own it. And guess what? You actually own the copyright as soon as you create the work and fix it into a tangible medium. So the copyright doesn't go into effect when your song is just in your head, but the moment you write it down onto a napkin or record it onto a hard drive, you now own the copyright of that work. The only problem is when you write song lyrics on a napkin, it can be very difficult to prove the exact date that you wrote the lyrics down. And that's why the process of copyright registration was created. You see, according to US copyright law, and I'll explain how this affects copyright law in other countries in just a moment, but according to US copyright law, copyright registration is prima facie evidence, which means in this context that your copyright registration is accepted by the courts as fact unless someone else provides other evidence to the contrary. So if you're involved in a legal dispute over when a piece of music was created and who owns it, if you pull out that copyright registration and show it to the court, the judge has to acknowledge that you own the copyright as of the date on that document unless someone else can prove otherwise. So you win the case by default unless someone else can bring substantial evidence to the contrary that proves your copyright registration is invalid. So that's why you wanna register your copyrights. Now, some of you might be thinking, okay, I live outside the US. Does this still apply in my country? And the short answer is yes, most likely. But let me explain a little bit. The first thing you have to realize is that every country creates its own laws. For example, here in the United States, you have to be 21 to purchase alcohol. Whereas in most European countries, teenagers can just walk into a corner store and buy a beer, no questions asked. And that's because different countries have different laws. And the same goes for laws that protect intellectual property. Every country can pass and enforce its own laws. However, something important happened back in the late 1800s. 10 European countries got together in Switzerland and agreed on a basic set of principles, legal principles, regarding intellectual property that all these countries would agree to follow. 
this event was known as the Bernie Convention. And now the Bernie Convention has been ratified by 181 countries, including the U.S. So the basic principles of copyright protection that the U.S. adheres to are the same basic principles that almost every other country follows as well. So what I'm going to share with you here in just a second should be relevant to you wherever you are in the world. But of course, I have to say it, I'm not an attorney and laws vary from country to country. This is not meant to be any kind of legal advice. It's just here to simply help you better understand how the music industry and copyrights work. And just in general, I would always advise you that as a professional musician, you should seek the advice from an entertainment attorney and or a copyright attorney in your region. And not just for things like this, but also before you sign any type of contract and so on. Now with that out of the way, I'd like to introduce you to Song Secure. And right now, if you click the link that I posted down in the video description, you can register all your works right now for zero dollars. It's absolutely free for the next 30 days. You can submit as much of your work as you want for the next 30 days. And after that 30 day period, if you choose to keep your Song Secure membership, it's just $9.95 a month. And you can continue to submit as many works as you want. It's unlimited. And even if you only submit music during the free 30 day trial period, those works are still protected whether you keep your membership or not. So if you have any music that's not already been registered with your local copyright office, there is no reason not to go down and click that link in the video description right now to join completely free for the next 30 days. Submit all your music. That way it's protected. It's super simple. Here's how it works. Click the link in the video description to create your account and start your free 30 day trial. Once you've created your account, you can log into your Song Secure dashboard and upload your song or even just an idea for a song. It could be a simple riff, lyrics, whatever, because again, you have unlimited uploads even during the free 30 day trial period. Next, enter the ownership information and details of your song or idea and include any co-writers if applicable. Now, normally when you do this with the US Copyright Office, you have to pay at a minimum $35 per submission, sometimes even more. And then you'll have to wait several months just to receive an approval or rejection in the mail. But with Song Secure, you'll receive verification of ownership in just a few minutes. And you can then download your Song Secure certificate with a timestamp of your submission. So now you have instant proof that you're the owner of the work you submitted. Now you're protected against any wrongful copyright infringement lawsuits, and you have protection for your work so no one else can steal it. And of course, you can still register your copyrights with the US Copyright Office or the Copyright Office in your region for extra protection. But let's be real, you're only gonna even consider doing that with official releases, not every little riff or lyric that you come up with that would take forever and it would be way too expensive. But with Song Secure, you can protect every single musical idea virtually as soon as you have it without the exorbitant fees of registering everything with your copyright office. Now, in my opinion, this is an absolute must have for any serious musician, especially if you want to make it your career. So click the link down in the video description below to sign up for your free 30 day trial right now. And of course, if you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comment section, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone that could use it. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that now. Tick the little bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are released on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.